okay let us now look at the span element so unlike the div element that we saw earlier span is an inline element which means that its content appears in line with other joining elements as defined in the HTML document now let's look at a typical use case of the span element what we shall do is include the text in the left column inside a span element and assign a class bold to this span element whereas to the text in the right column we shall include that inside a markup called b okay now let us just save this and hit preview so do, you, so do you see what happened here so both the text strings left column as well as right column now show up in bold letters so in, in the right column div we have in included a specific native HTML markup called B whereas in the left call div we have used span with an associated class to style its content in modern web design it is generally recommended that we use CSS styles to style content as opposed to using specific HTML markups right so therefore this is a typical use case of the span element where we style content by assigning styling rules the <coughs> attached css external css file already has classes defined and uh, i would recommend that you use these classes to style content in the main area of your web page and experiment your heart's content just take a look at the attached CSS to see what kind of styling rules have been applied right so if you look at ITAL that is the that is one of the classes defined you find that we have defined a CSS rule called font style and assigned it the value italic right Similarly, in the bold class, we have defined a CSS rule called font weight and assigned it a value bold and so on. 